Welcome back to OC Outdoorsman. Well, I decided the last minute this morning to head out to Dana Point to try fishing for a bit on this warm summer day. Forecast today is in the mid to high 80s at the beaches and in the low 90s for the rest of South Orange County. I didn't get on the water until after 10 a.m. as I mentioned. It was kind of a last minute decision. So here I am making bait. I have dropped down the rig, the sabiki rig. Just beneath my kayak, you could see the bait fish swimming around it. I'm hoping to catch a few sardines, but these look to be more like jack's melt or grunion. They were being pretty finicky, but I finally land one, so. Here's a shot of a, about a medium sized jack's melt or grunion. I can never tell the difference between the two. But one thing they all have in common is that they are super slippery. You'll never know what you catch with these sabiki rigs. You can see here I've landed a blacksmith perch, but you can also catch other fish like half moon and the occasional opal eye. Here I've dropped the rig down again. I'm teasing it a bit and land a small half moon right here. Looks like I foul hooked this one. Looks to be another jack's melt. After catching several of these bait fish, I put one on a hook and cast it out and it just gets slammed. Unfortunately, I was right by the kelp and this fish swam right into it. I had the hardest time trying to free him from this, this kelp. You can see I'm maneuvering my kayak around, but the fish was just stubborn. He would not budge. After tightening down my drag, I end up yanking the hook right out of his mouth. After losing that fish, I switch back to my sabiki rod. I cast it out and I land a calico bass. Turns out he went for the two Berkeley power eggs that I attached to the bottom of my torpedo sinker. I'll talk more about that in a minute, but this was a pleasant surprise. Here's that jar of Berkeley power eggs. I chose green because they resemble green peas. So if you ever decide to fish for opali, they'll go for them. I'll take a close look. As you can see, I'm using a really light torpedo sinker and affixed to the bottom a size one J hook. I like to put the scented power eggs on that hook because they will attract fish to my sabiki rig and the occasional calico apparently. Since the action was slow, I decided to give you a better look at my sabiki pole. You can see it's made by Ahi. And unlike most fishing poles, you don't see guides. There's one guide on the bottom there, but you feed the fishing line into this pole, right into the middle of it. And it comes out of the other end. This pole's about seven feet long. And keep in mind that sabiki rigs are, they tend to be disposable because they tangle up so easily. But if you have a dedicated sabiki rod like this you can reuse those rigs because when you're done you just reel them in and see that they catch the i have that j hook that catches the lip or the end of the pole so that when i reel it in it doesn't go all the way back in well you can certainly use regular fishing poles with sabiki rigs i prefer the dedicated rod because it's a great way to manage the hooks they rarely get tangled up while you're out on the water and you can reuse the sabiki rigs when you're done not too expensive i added a link in my description below for you guys here's a close-up look at the torpedo sinker and number one j hook again i add those berkeley power eggs because they're scented and will attract bait fish to your sabiki it works quite well
the winds have now picked up and you can see it's getting a little bit more rough the swells are getting larger and the intervals between swells more frequent we are looking at about three to five seconds between swells so here i'm on my way back to the harbor as i approach the mouth of the harbor i run into a fellow kayak fisherman so talking to him for a while turns out he had a pretty rough day as well really tough fishing there are only a few of us out here on the water today but conditions just weren't ideal Now that I'm back inside the harbor, guess who I run into? That is the Clemente. That's the cattle boat that I've fished on numerous times in the past. And that's also the boat that I ran into while I was fishing Newport Beach last week. Looks like they're done with their fishing trip and are about to dock. So here I'm getting closer to the boat launch and keep in mind that when you're in the harbor there's quite a bit of traffic you just need to be careful watch out for other kayakers as you can see these guys are just speeding out and boom we collide fortunately it was a slow speed collision no one was hurt but you do need to be careful out here A rather uneventful day but we didn't catch many fish it's you know it's always great to be out on the water so thank you all for watching and once again please subscribe and give this video a thumbs up thanks again